Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to talk about the first function or first ClickSense function which is helpful in pivot tables. So what do you have over here is uh, the first function example. So what do you have is sum of sales. If I just click it over here. So we have sum of sales and we have the function first sum of sales which I have mentioned over here in the pivot table or the pivot table. Uh, that we are using it over here. Now this first function if you see what it does is whatever the first column value is in the ClickSense pivot table you have that value for the rest of the columns. So if I click on done here you will see for each column for consumer you have the first column value for corporate you have the first column value which is nothing but consumer for home office you have the first column value which is consumer. So if this is what your need is that uh, for rest of the columns which is present in the uh, pivot table you want to take the first column value then in that case you will need to use the first function and this is very useful in scenarios like those where let's say you have Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and you want to keep Q1 as a baseline so you want to make sure that for rest of the fiscal quarter values like Q2, Q3, Q4 your baseline is uh, Q1 so you want to compare rest of the quarter values with the Q1. In those scenarios first function is very very helpful. Apart from that any other custom scenario in your business where you want to keep the first value as a base value and want to compare the rest of the column values with the first values then you will do that. Apart from this uh, if let's say you have um, second column as the base value then what you can provide over here is after first sum of sales say comma two and press tab. So now the the corporate become the baseline for the rest of the column. So if you see corporate value which is this is coming over here in consumer or in home office or the last section which was out there. So if I click on done small business you get the corporate value. So let's say if corporate is your baseline against which rest of the customer segment needs to be measured then you can specify like that. So this is mainly what uh, you use uh, or what you need to use as the uh, first function but let's say you want to take the average of first two columns for example consumer and corporate is let's say uh, you want to take an average of that as a baseline for every column then what you need to do is you need to come into the expression editor after two comma say two or specify one over here and then say range avg so we specify one. So one is a default that means the current column and comma two is saying that the first two column. Okay. Click apply and what you get is the basically the average of this and this for the rest of the columns over here. So 1182807, So sounds good I guess. 149 is basically the range the average of this value and this value and it's now produced for rest of the columns. So if this is what you need is that you want the average of some column values then you need to use the n parameter over here with the range function. So that's mainly I wanted to discuss in this video for, uh, for this particular scenario and I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic.